Today we are going to continue our travel day series and I wanted to take us to Jaipur, India. Um, one, because of the architecture, um, but two, because of this, um, I just wanted to add in a portrait paint drawing here. So I'm coming in with really just like a contour drawing. Um, this is a photo based on Unsplash. I'm really not lifting my pencil much. Um, I wanted to put her at more of an angle, really accentuate, um, just and elongate her as opposed to the photograph. Um, um, and, and just kind of bring her in on the right and then to the left I wanted it to kind of blend with kind of the architecture so I worked here with my pencil now I'm just gonna come in with my Stabilo um, and with the Stabilo I'm it's water soluble so you can move it with water and you can start to build some shadowing um, just by adding some water um, so it's one of my favorite not only drawing tools but it easily turns into one of my favorite painting tools as well um, especially as a base for my drawing I will likely come over this with some paints um, you know I have some gouache here that I planned on using for my architectural drawings and painting um, so but I wanted to start with a nice base and, and show you that you can also just be working in black and white in this portrait so pay attention to the lines, to the angles. Um, where do you want to accentuate these lines to add a little bit more drama to your piece? Um, for instance, in this, if you look at the original photograph on my blog, you're going to see that I really tilted the head almost more. I have exaggerated some of the contrast even more than what's in the photograph. Um, so use those kind of tips to, you know, make it your own and bring some character into your portrait painting. Um, so I'm just kind of gathering a palette here, doing the kind of quick um, drawing as well of this um, beautiful pink city. Um, the architecture is so ornate. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is just kind of a doorway that was found in the pink city. Um, has a lot of those really unique details and design. So, you know, didn't want to do a lot of drawing. I didn't want to spend a lot of time so I want to jump right in with my painting with my gouache I love the gouache because it dries quickly um, you know you can build layers um, and I'm using a round brush um, to kind of mimic the design of these doorways um, but you know instead of having to do all the fine fine details on this piece it's allowing me to kind of mimic the design without spending hours and hours and hours recreating um, the painting here so coming in with a complementary palette i'm working with colors that are cool and warm um, i wanted to bring out when you think of the pink city obviously the outside the exterior um, is this gorgeous uh, pink facade, um, which was actually painted in 1876 to, to welcome Prince Wales. And it has been refreshed since then to celebrate the visit of Queen Elizabeth II um, and later Diana, Princess of Wales. Um, but the interior, there's a lot more like turquoise colors, but I wanted to kind of keep to more of a subtle palette. So um, went a little bit more with kind of my golds and um, my yellows here, kind of a burnt sienna, and then my pale blue and, and kind of a muted blue. My travel day series are usually quick. Um, sometimes they're just prompts, sometimes we'll have videos. Um, I'm not gonna stop talk step by step in these short videos. Um, but if you want more in-depth lessons, we have online classes and that's where I'll really go into the details, slow it down so you can really see um, why I do what, why I make each mark. Um, but this is a way for you to just kind of keep up and, you know, inspire your art, inspire your travels, especially if you're stuck on what to create. Or if you love travel like me, it's a way to start kind of thinking of travel in different ways and add some new ideas and new materials to your artwork and to your practice. Um, so with, through this, I've been using my drawing tools, I've been using my gouache, and I did come in with these Posca, Posco um, acrylic pens. They're really just like uh, 
uh, acrylic paint that you draw with. So be careful because they do splatter. Um, so, you know, maybe have a test piece of paper, but they go over top of things really nicely um, and a great way to add in some fine details um, and add some drawing over top of either acrylics or your gouache. Um, so I'm just referencing this whole time the photograph, which you can find on my blog, and, you know, just kind of um, pulling out some of the details I want, using some mark making um, to kind of mimic some of the patterning. The architecture is so, so detailed and so ornate and hand painted. I didn't go in and put every single detail, but I have ways to kind of bring in this detail um, with kind of my brush strokes, with going different directions, with using um, that Pasca pen as well as my white gel pen and my gouache to kind of create um, these lotus flowers and this patterning and this sculpture here and this gilded gold door um, that has all these fine, fine, beautiful, beautiful detailing um, and I'm loving this palette um, I'm already feeling I was gonna maybe um, leave my drawing of the woman in black and white but I think I want to come back over her with these colors and at the last minute I decided to bring in a little bit of this turquoise that you actually see in real life um, with just this pen so coming in with the same palette, again, you know, mixing those warm and cool colors is such a great way um, to start with a palette. Let's say you wanna work in blues, then come in with some oranges as a complementary color or bring in other warm colors um, so that they really can contrast against each other. I'm using this kind of muted blue as some shadowing, bringing a little bit of warmth to her cheeks and coming right over. Now keep in mind, if you have Stabilo, you're still gonna be moving around your Stabilo. Um, so I'm gonna get some gray areas, which I don't mind, um, but keep that in mind um, before you start painting and before you add your Stabilo. If you add more water to it, it is absolutely going to still move and you're gonna get some gray tones um, with your color as well. So adding in some details, um, you know, in India, there's that gold jewelry is very prominent. Um, it's, you know, in a lot of tradition, I wanted to add, usually it's very vibrant and colorful colors in the clothing. I, I kept it subtle. I kept it kind of to these golds and blues. Um, I want this kind of muted look. I want to keep to my palette. Um, but just blending her in um, to kind of be cohesive um, with the rest of the journal spread. Thank you so much for joining me on this art adventure. I will have more videos and prompts to come every Friday. Join our newsletter to be the first to know. Thank you so much.